Thrive presents Testosterone Matters. So, hello and welcome. I'm Mohammed Ayad, I'm the guy who created the channel, and my main goal with this channel is to basically help teenagers with shit physiques build their top 1% physiques, their dream physiques, because truth be told, that's something that I struggle with, and it's perhaps something that I just am really passionate about. And so, this is my story. <laughs> so, I used to be this fat kid right over here, and I, as I fucking start to grow older, I realized, oh wait, you know, girls don't like fat guys, and so immediately I just start trying to fucking shut up and skim down, and it happened, and I actually became skinny, and so I managed to successfully go through my first cut, and um, yeah, I, I turned to this ultra skinny kid, and so then after that, I basically, you know, thought, well, I'm, I'm quite fucking skinny, and that's not attractive either, and so I woke up and I built my dream physique because I just saw all these fucking guys with bulky physiques that just look fit and that look fucking strong and stuff. And I was like, I don't want that. I like, I just want that too. And so I built that for myself. And this is, you know, like, as you can see, or as you can see there, like I built my dream physique. And so this is why I can help you because I've gone through it all. I used to be a fat kid who then became ultra skinny. In fact, I used to fucking get dizzy twice a day just because of, you know, like nutrition fucking problems. And that he bought my dream physique. So this is why I can help you. And so that's why I have a promise to you in this video. I'll basically help you to better your testosterone because the better your testosterone is, the more that you will actually be able to put on more muscle easily. And as we'll go on to later discuss, it's basically one of the most vital stuff to you being able to build your dream physique. And so that's something that's quite fucking interesting. But what the fuck even is testosterone to begin with? So basically, Testosterone, as you can read, is basically the male hormone in your body, and it's responsible for body and like body and facial hair growth, basically. So like your your hair growth, and also voice depth, and what we actually give a fuck about, which is muscle growth. So this is pretty fucking interesting. And so I built my dream physique. I built this physique. I built this physique by simply having good testosterone. It is some of the greatest fucking stuff that I was genuinely gifted. Like, I genuinely, like, my, my body has such a great ability to build, like, put on testosterone, build testosterone, and create testosterone in itself. And so that helped me quite a lot through my years. And through, especially the last year where I started doing this certain protocol work, which we're going to fucking discuss, I increased my testosterone rapidly by simply going on this simple protocol, which basically enabled me to, you know, have a better physique and build my dream physique much more faster. So how, how do we fucking get better testosterone? Well, this is the protocol I was talking about just a bit earlier. It's called testosterone optimization. Basically this shirt right now that I'm wearing, it is specifically chosen to ha like help me with my testosterone. Specifically, I chose this shirt out of all the shirts that I could wear or these pants out of all the pants that I could wear specifically because it will help me with my testosterone. It's crazy. And and like the thing is, it's so weird that people take steroids when you have this protocol. So like it's, also, it's almost weird because you could just go on this protocol and massively increase your testosterone. And then you can, you know, like for people who want to go pro, take more steroids or like take steroids endogenously like from the outside and get even more. So it's like, it's, it's like very fucking crazy thing. But you know, like, Testosterone optimization fucking works. That's the thing. Like, I made a whole fucking two-hour video talking about this protocol. Like, if, if you're interested, I'll just leave it, you know, somewhere above there. But, yeah, like, that's basically all there is to it. This protocol, I'll, like, you probably could check that video out if you're actually interested in it. But I will give you specific little tools and, and protocols to go through to do from that video that I've basically just taken out to help you to do testosterone optimization. So, one of the first key things and one of the things that, you know... <laughs> Like testosterone optimization works on a very key special thing, and it is avoiding estrogenics. Basically, estrogen is the female hormone. So testosterone is the male hormone, is literally like what your sperm is made out of. Estrogen is the female hormone. It's, you know, basically responsible for sex drive, it's responsible for, you know, like gynecomastia. So like if, if you have like those fucking puffy nipples, gynecomastia. Yeah, basically that's estrogen. And like... Basically, like there are these like things that we use on a daily basis. In fact, you've touched more estrogenics today than you have, you know, like you, than you can even fucking realize. Basically, 
These regenics are things that are all around us that we just touch unconsciously. We don't even realize. And they increase estrogen, which is the exact opposite of testosterone, which then lowers our testosterone. So when estrogen increases, testosterone goes down, which means, as you can kind of start to fucking comprehend, we're touching stuff on a daily basis that increases our estrogen, and that's lowering our testosterone. You can see where we're going here. One of the main estrogenics that we have in our fucking like world, and especially as gym brats, fucking fed this stuff, polyester. Basically, polyester is the plastic, like the specific material that is made, like your clothes are made out of, but it's specifically the plastic. It's like plastic clothes, basically. And it's like, you might be like, oh no, I don't wear plastic clothes. Check your fucking drawer. Because... I used to wear these gym shirts, you know, like these gym tights and stuff, or like these fucking like football, like these football shirts, it's like all of them, polyester, polyester, wherever you look. And like, you might have mixes. So you might have like a 60% polyester, 30, like 40% like cotton, or you might have the opposite. So 60% cotton, 40% like polyester. It's still polyester. And it's, it's fucking terrible. Like it's the amount of times I just kind of have to fucking like emphasize this, this shirt that I'm wearing right now, it is 100% cotton. These pants, 100% cotton. My boxers, 100% cotton. These socks, 100% cotton. And it's like, you need to fucking have this, like, extreme mindset about things. That's like, fuck this shit, bro. Like, I'm avoiding all this stuff. Because it's it's about your testosterone. And it's like, your ability to put on more muscle. People literally take testosterone in a syringe to basically increase the amount of muscle that they can put on. And it's like, you literally are like, oh no, I prefer wearing a gym shirt that makes me look big right now and makes me feel comfortable to not put on more muscle. And it's, it's fucking stupid because testosterone, literally, like more testosterone always correlates to more muscle, even if you don't train, which is insane to think about. And so, like, I think I really need to emphasize this is that testosterone isn't a joke. Don't think that, oh, you know, like, I'll just av like avoid doing all these stuff in this video and think that you will actually get more muscle because you'll start to fucking think about steroids. As soon as you start to go down that rabbit hole, you'll start to think about steroids. And as soon as you start thinking about steroids, shit goes down like fucking terribly because you could have had this fucking protocol and done this protocol and actually gotten a very big testosterone increase and you would have been natty but still had good testosterone which enabled you to put on more muscle. Insane. So we talked about plastics specifically in our clothes, which is one of them, like it basically testosterone, like the, the biggest enemy to testosterone is just the estrogenics. And so you literally wearing estrogenics on you 24 seven. It's like, it's the biggest fucking thing out of all of them. You take down that stuff, you throw out those clothes and it's like, you'll go a long way. Now, the thing that I actually like the, the second thing is plastics in the environment in general. So do you drink water in a plastic water bottle? Like those ones that you buy for like, like 50 cents or something. Do you drink water in, in, in a, like a plastic thing? Because I would not recommend you do that. It's full of fucking plastics and stuff. It's full of just shit. And it's not good for your health, but especially for your testosterone. Like right now, like right there, I have a, a stainless steel like water bottle and I have like four of that same water bottle and I just use it all over the place. I'm not willing to use any kind of plastic like in, in anything unless I have to. Like if I'm dying and I like I have to fucking drink out of plastic, sure. But it's like I would not resort to drinking out of plastic because it's fucking it's terrible. And the more plastics you can remove from your environment, the more that you will you know, go big with this and the more that your testosterone will increase because you've removed those estrogenics. In fact, like there's like a whole fertility protocol. Like the people start to make fertility protocols. Basically, you can reverse for like infertility or like mostly reverse infertility for most people by simply just going on this protocol. So you just eliminate estrogenics and you start fucking like wearing good clothes that actually don't fucking ruin your hormones and stuff. And it's like that stuff goes very fucking well. So like this is how big this, this space is. If you're like thinking, oh no, like there's no way this, this stuff could be true. Just check out, like check out the fucking studies because it is true. And you can read a whole fucking book on this. It's called Easter Generation. There are so much fucking stuff on this. It's like, it's, it's fucking insane. So now we have endocrine disruptors. These are basically just different types of stuff that are around like as, as like estrogenics basically, 
but they're specifically in weird different places. So, one of the main ones is fluoride. You brush your teeth with this twice a day, every day. Fluoride. It's estrogenic. And actually, it has more problems than just being estrogenic, but I'll mainly stick to the topic of this video. It's estrogenic. And so, preferably, you would buy toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride. You can search for these in your supermarkets and stuff. You can even, like, you know, go on websites and, like, they sell a specific, like, it's, it, becomes, it comes as a powder. Like, sometimes it comes as a powder. You can have, find, like, just a normal toothpaste that just doesn't have fluoride. But you can also find ones that are, like, spe like specifically powder. And you just, like, put, like, you get the toothbrush to be a bit wet. And they just kind of smudge around in there. And then you just brush your teeth with it. So, yeah, like, that's kind of something. Just find fluoride-free toothpaste and use that. And, that, like, another fucking point. Your toothbrush is plastic. Fucking problematic. You're putting that thing in your mouth. So, again, find a wooden or, or like a bamboo toothbrush as well. Teflon. So, Teflon, basically, you know Teflon pans. So, you know, like, these pans that you literally heat up at, like, very fucking high heats just to fucking make yourself some eggs? Well, that's kind of problematic because, actually, you're literally cooking estrogenics into the fucking eggs. And you're eating estrogenics as, as they are. And it's, it's fucking terrible. So what you would do is basically get stainless steel, just pure stainless steel pans and like different like fucking like kitchen like tools, whatever you want to call them. Like there's some fucking word for it. I'm a fucking, I'm bulking, bro. <laughs> but yeah, basically just Teflon, avoid Teflon. Like this is something that like you wouldn't be able to control right now. Like because your parents would probably just fucking like hit you with the pan. They'd be like, no, it's like it's fucking don't do that stuff. Let's say, yeah, but whenever they want to change the pans, just try and just fucking like tell them about this stuff. Because like my parents, when I first told them about this, they went fucking crazy. Like they were like, no, like do you want us to throw out the whole fucking like pan setup and stuff? Like, are you crazy and whatever? And then as soon as they like the pans just got fucking bad and stuff, they literally just bought the stainless steel ones that I've been crying about on their own. And it's like, I almost just kind of like forgot about it. And then I don't know, like, I just, I find them that they've just brought like some stainless steel, pure stuff that I was just telling them about. And I was like, I was very happy. And like, my mother was like, look, like I even bought those ones that you told me because they're healthier and stuff. And I was like, man, like this is so fucking awesome. It's like, just tell your parents about it. They'll fucking get upset the first time. Keep telling them about it and shove it in their head. So that whenever they want to get pans, they'll consider what you just said. Now, the final one that I wanted to add is live an exciting life. So I realized that when I had this limp dick energy that I was, you know, like I just, I didn't want to do stuff. I was just, oh, monk mode and whatever. And I was just like full focus, you know, like wearing my hoodie and just fucking working on my laptop and stuff. It was cool, right? I felt very into the routine. As soon as I started living a more exciting life where I started to join in with like workouts with my friends and stuff, I felt much more happier. And more than anything, I felt that my testosterone was just getting a lot better. And I think it's about time that someone told you this, that yes, you need to fucking go into a certain routine and stuff and having an amazing routine, being able to put in the work. Like right now, I could have easily just went to the gym today and I will go to the gym after I'm done recording right now. But the main thing is I chose to like, even though I felt like going to the gym, I said, no, record the video, do the work that you must do. And then you can go to the gym. And so live an exciting life that is also regimented towards your goals to get you to your goals. So live an exciting life, which basically means just do awesome stuff. Live your life. Do fucking heavy deadlifts. Don't be fucking scared of that stuff. Do insane fucking squats. Live the fucking lifestyle and just go out, have fun with your friends. Don't fucking be scared of that stuff. And th all that stuff will correlate to you having better testosterone, which is insane to think about. And... Instead of, like, if you're really goal-oriented, it's cool to have, have like, fucking monk mode periods. But it's also cool to have fun while you're in a monk mode period. So you could simply have the gym as your fun hour throughout the day. And it could be just as simple as that. And that will help you to further go into your progress. So if I fulfill my promise, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video, and do check out the Thrive Protocol. It's the only thing I sell, basically. I help you one-on-one -on -one to build your dream physique. I offer many fucking, like, core services. So basically, like, I have 
different stuff that I will give to you. So I have calls with you. I have daily check-ins, literally like two calls a day that I basically just call you to check up on your calories and stuff. I count your calories for you. I have like five core programs now, like basically just five courses or like big courses that basically, you know, help you to get to your goals of building your gym physique. I help you one-on-one. I count your calories. And all you really have to do, like I have the boredom savior, which is some of the greatest fucking features that you can find. Like most of these features, nobody fucking gives because they take so much energy away from me. In fact, I only have three spots left in this the fraud protocol because I can only take three people at once. That's how, you know, energy, like it needs for me to be able to actually serve you as best as possible. But at the same time, that's why I kind of just, you know, made the, like, made the threat protocol be itself because it just, I, I think the market needed something as powerful as this. The one protocol that if you just do this, if you just buy this, you will basically build your dream physique in the next six to 12 months. Commit to this, do the work that you must, and I'll do all the other stuff that I could do for you. And that's like the most ultimate fucking thing. And so if you're interested in building your physique, do check it out. It's the first link in the description. I'll leave it as a video I made about it. I discuss the fucking features, the pricing, how you can actually buy it and different stuff. I'll leave it as the first link in the description. So if you commit to the work, you'll be getting the results.